I'm sorry to come by so late, but is it okay if I spend the night? Yeah, sure. What are you afraid of this time? Roaches? A movie? I told you not to watch anything with puppets in it. They always trip you out. Uh, holy crap. Angela, how long are you planning on staying? Oh, just a night. Just a, a night? All of that for a night? You, you know, I do own stuff. I, I have towels and pillows and... Stewart. Huh? I'm looking for Angela McKinnon. I have a few questions and I heard she was here. I'm sorry, I haven't seen her. You sure? Yeah, positive. So, your doorman is a liar then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he must be mistaken. He has really bad vision. There's a, a reason that they call him the night doorman and not the night watchman. Get it? So, he didn't see her coming up here to your apartment, dragging a giant duffel bag? Like that one? <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. I've had this double bag for, for years and I've never seen another one like it. Just think that somebody else has the exact same one. Wow. Ma'am, we both know Angela is here. The sooner you stop this nonsense and I get the answers to my questions, I'll be on my way. Now, um, where is Angela? I have no idea where Angela is. <laughs> to see you. Uh, you look terrific. <laughs> I'm sorry, but have we met before? It's David. <laughs> Call me David. David. We went on a date a few years back and I looked different then. Oh my god. Did, did you have long hair and a... A wannabe Gandalf beard. Yes, I thought I could pull it off. <laughs> you, couldn't. <laughs> you couldn't. No, I most certainly could not. Oh. 
You look great. Surprisingly intact. Physically, emotionally. Really well put together. Thanks. <clears throat> it's good to hear you say that. Angela, I've been thinking a lot about our first date. Our only date. And I had an amazing time. <laughs> When you invited me up to your place for drinks, I thought this could be the start of something wonderful. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in a dumpster, bleeding from my head, never to see you again. It was a real wake-up call for me. My life now had a purpose. I cut my hair, joined the academy, and after three years of top-notch po police work, <laughs> made detective just last week. Congratulations! And I made this <laughs> to be my first case. What? <clears throat> to find the woman who stole my heart three years ago. So, Angela McKinnon, will you make me the happiest man in the precinct and give me that second date that I've been dreaming of for years? No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> It's cool. Totally cool. Well, I guess, uh, Angela McKinnon, you are under arrest for the murders of Jonathan Carter, Michael Dubbin, Christopher Bay, Jason Phillips, Paul Anderson, Vincent Pollock, George Richards, Jeremiah Fault. Oh, I still have a few more to go. Peter Gregory, Simon Dubinsky. David, we get the point. It is Detective Stewart. Hmm. I didn't even get to the... Right to remain silent, part because you keep talking. Detective Stewart. What? If you knew I killed all of those guys, allegedly, <laughs> why would you want to go on a second date with me? I do not care what you have done with other guys. <laughs> really? You can call me old-fashioned, but I always thought being a black widow was a turn-off for most guys. Right? Oh, please, Angela, who has killed someone to get out of an awkward situation. <laughs> I just thought we had something different, you know? We connected on so many levels. I believe <laughs> it was fate that swiped both our fingers right and brought us together that night. <laughs> Look at how wrong I was. To you, I'm no different than those 27 other guys. What? Yes. You were incredibly awkward. That's why I did not want a second date with you. You're not helping. Angelo, we both know that is not true. I distinctly remember having a wonderful conversation about my pets. Oh, nobody cares about your goldfish, David! They're boring. They, they swim around for like three weeks and then they die. The only thing more boring than having goldfish is talking about having goldfish. Then why did you invite me up to your place for drinks if I'm so dreadful to be around? Oh, now you want to do the right to remain silent part? If you didn't like me, why did you want to spend more time with me? It's not you. Oh, please, don't give me that. It's true. I have a problem saying... No. You feel icky and awkward and... As boring as you were, you seemed like a nice enough guy. I did not want to be the one to hurt you. <sighs> you were sweet, like ice cream. Maybe not the flavor I was craving, but you were still ice cream, and that's pretty darn awesome. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to want a second date, and I just couldn't tell you no. Bullshit! You just told me no a minute ago. I did. Oh my god, I did! I didn't feel awkward at all! You are the first man where it has been easier to say no than to just straight up murder him. <laughs> I don't mean to make this sound sappy, but isn't that what love is? No, no, it's not. <laughs> David, would you like to go get a cup of coffee with me? Really? Or is this a, you know, let me down easy. No, no, no. No, for real. I would love to. Yay. Um, Karen, watch my stuff. We're going to go 
Oh, if I'm not back by two, call the cops. <laughs> Same for me. If I'm not back by two, call the cops. Oh, you. <laughs> Well, Greg, guess it's just you and me tonight. Yeah, it's not the worst date I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs>